Hi everyone, this is Julian from AWS. Welcome to episode 20 of my podcast. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of future videos. As you probably guessed, this is a special episode focusing on everything that happened before reInvent. reInvent is just a few hours away. The, the keynote uh, will certainly announce some new services. I'm not going to talk about that, but I can give you a, a recap of all the major AI and ML announcements that took place in November so that you can catch up and you'll be ready for the onslaught of new launches that's coming this week. Okay, all right, let's get started. So first things first, Amazon SageMaker. Uh, the really good news is that it's now available in 22 AWS regions. So chances are you can use Studio um, in your local region now and use it with the data that you're hosting there. And in addition to this, you can now use multi-GPU built-in environments in Studio. So far, you could only use CPU and single GPU local environments. So now if you have to work uh, in Studio with heavy-duty deep learning models that you want to, to train in Studio, it's going to be much easier with the, those larger environments. And of course, you can still use managed infrastructure. Um, with the full scope of uh, EC2 instances for uh, full-scale training deployment. But for uh, local experimentation, you can get a little more uh, power now. All right, let's move on. Um, Deep Composer. Uh, you certainly remember Deep Composer from last reInvent. It's the combination of a musical keyboard and an AWS service that generates music based on a melody that you play. And, uh, and you could do this with uh, a couple of different um, deep learning architectures. And we added a third one, uh, which is based on Transformers. Uh, nothing to do with the Celia robots and the Michael Bay movies. Uh, Transformers are a really, really powerful architecture, uh, which is uh, uh, increasingly popular for natural language processing and, and, and generally um, machine learning problems that deal with uh, sequences uh, and obviously generating notes, uh, music notes, is a sequence problem. So you can experiment and, and try out transformers in Deep Composer and to help you figure out what those network, networks are, how they work. Uh, we also added what we call a learning capsule, which is uh, a, a kind of tutorial uh, introducing you to the technology and, and how it's different from uh, the previous ones. Okay, so musicians, you can now start your transformers and make some music, right? Amazon Lex uh, is our chatbot service and now it supports additional languages, which I know a lot of you were waiting for. French, Canadian French, Italian, German, Spanish, Latin American Spanish. So now if you already have uh, English speaking bots or English language bots in general, uh, you can uh, localize them for all these uh, countries and languages. And if you never uh, worked with Lex because it only supports in English, well, this is your chance. So French developers, Italian developers, German developers, and everyone else, it's time to learn about Lex and build some cool uh, voice-based apps. Another feature that we added is context management. So uh, before this, you would define the list of utterances that your bot would try to uh, to detect. Okay, so the specific uh, sentences that the bot would look for when interacting with a user. And obviously in a conversation, uh, certain utterances happen at the beginning and then as the conversation unfolds, uh, you'd like to enable additional utterances helping the bot focus on, okay, this is where we are in the conversation, so this is probably what you should look for. And this is exactly what context management is, okay? It, dynamically enabling utterances at specific points in the conversation. So basically helping the bot focus on the specific things we expect the user to say versus looking for a long list of different things at any given point, okay? So this will just help you build higher quality uh, bots and user experiences. Amazon Polly is our text-to-speech service, and 
as you probably remember, it includes two different engines, the standard engine and the neural text-to-speech engine, which actually generates the, the, the waveform uh, using a deep learning model. Okay, and uh, well, we added a new voice for this. Uh, it's Australian English. And we also added a new British voice for the newscaster style. And I think I showed you this one some time ago. The newscaster style is basically uh, applying to your speech the style of a, of a news anchor. Okay, so something you would probably hear on, on you know, TV news or radio news. So now if you want your speeches to sound like you know, the BBC or something close to that, uh, well, you can give that British English newscaster voice a try. Moving on, Amazon Textract. So Textract is our OCR service. And the big announcement in November is that it can now detect handwriting, okay, which is great because obviously a lot of documents, uh, forms, uh, etc., uh, contain handwriting. Okay, so print information is, is good to detect, but handwritten information is even better. So we can now do this, so go and give it a try. And in addition to this, text track now supports five new languages Spanish, German, Italian, Portuguese and French. Okay, so again, you can detect more documents in local languages. And last but not least, text track is now integrated with KMS. So you can specify your uh, AWS encryption key that you want to use to output your transcriptions in S3. Okay, so for, uh, for some use cases, encryption is mandatory and now it's available in text track. The next one is translate, and I guess I don't have to tell you what this one does. Uh, what I want to tell you is that it has 16 new languages. Okay, well, the, the translate team is just pumping those languages out like crazy. Okay, so here goes the list. Armenian, Catalan, uh, Gujarati, Haitian, Icelandic, my favorite language, Canada, uh, which has nothing to do with Canada, right? <laughs> Kazakh, Lithuanian, uh, Malayalam, Macedonian, Maltese, Mongolian, Sinhala, Telugu, Uzbek, and Welsh. And I would lie to you if I told you I knew um, where all these languages come from. Some of them are unknown to me, but I will sure to I will make sure to check them out and and learn something, right? So 16 new languages, and uh, now I think we have a total of 71 languages supported in Translate. And, uh, and that's a, a crazy amount of language pairs because you can pretty much translate from any of these to any of these, right? So lots of combinations. The second feature I wanna mention is Active Custom Translation, which is basically a way for you to customize translation without having to train a model, just providing some uh, uh, sentence pairs, um, you know, source language, destination language, and you can customize how translate, uh, actually translate your text. So pretty cool feature. Uh, it, it's been a, it's been a feature that's been requested a lot. Uh, the ability to customize, uh, which you can already do in other services like uh, recognition and, and and transcribe, and now you can do it in translate in a very simple way. And finally, we have this nice feature called Do Not Translate, which uh, lets you tag uh, specific parts of the input text that shouldn't be translated, right? So if you have, uh, you know, let's say English quotes in French text uh, or something similar, then you could say, okay, don't, don't translate this bit. Um, I want to maintain the original language and, uh, and that's fine, right? And uh, you see an example here of uh, translating French to Icelandic, right? Amazing. Okay, moving on. Amazon Transcribe. So Transcribe is the companion service to Amazon Polly. Polly is text to speech and Transcribe is speech to text. And you probably remember we can use it in two ways. We can use batch mode, uh, just uh, transcribe sound files uploaded to Amazon S3 or storage service, uh, or you can do real-time transcription, which uh, I think I've showed you a couple of times already, right? 
including the, I seem to remember the profanity filter, but okay, let's not do that again. Anyways, we have additional language support for streaming with German, Italian, Brazilian, Portuguese, Japanese, and Korean. And you can now stream audio content that's in AUG or FLAC uh, format. Originally, we just supported PCM, and so lots of customers had to convert from those formats to PCM. And, uh, and now you can just use them natively. So FLAC is, is a really cool uh, format. It's lossless, you know, no, no compression, and it's, it's very high quality. So now you can use it. Okay, let, let's do a quick demo of this, right? Uh, I want to try uh, that German real-time translation. All right, and I want to make it clear my German is very rusty, so I use translate uh, to translate from English to German, and now I'm going to try and uh, transcribe this automatically. So let me open a new window here, bring up transcribe, Okay, keep this one here. Okay, here we go. Real time transcription, German. Okay, and I'm gonna make a fool of myself. Hallo zusammen, mein Name ist Julien und ich lebe in Frankreich. Island ist ein großartiger Ort für einen Besuch und ich würde gerne bald dorthin zurückkehren. Okay, so my first name is wrong, but that's okay. Uh, Julien is just impossible for anyone to pick up, except if you're French. <laughs> and the rest is pretty good. So congratulations, Transcribe. If you can understand my German accent, you can probably do, do exactly what you need to do. So perfect, very good job. If you want okay. to stay in touch, you can check the What's New page. Uh, something tells me it's going to be quite busy in the next few hours and, and days with all the major announcements. And of course, we have plenty of blog posts coming for you. Uh, so check them out and, uh, and get started with all the new services that are coming this week. Okay, lots of really, really exciting stuff, but I'll be back to tell you a little more about it. Okay, so enjoy reInvent, have fun, learn a lot, stay safe in these crazy times, and... Keep rocking.